Hello everybody, Pinchy08, and we are now back doing a Hot Wheels Monster Jam review. Kicking it off, we have the all-amazing Stars and Stripes collection here. With only about five trucks, including Gravedigger, Max D, El Toro Loco, Soldier Fortune, and Mohawk Warrior. I gotta admit, these trucks are very cool, and I just got them on time before Memorial Day. I might think about hosting a Memorial Day sign-up series, like my friend Riley McCord is doing, who usually hosts his sign-up series on special holidays like that. I gotta tell you, the design of these trucks are really, really cool, where you've got the blue up front representing the stars, and then the um, uh, stripes pattern going around like that. Of course, one thing you'll know about Max C is that only on this series he has no spikes. Of course, the only difference with Soldier Fortune is that no more gun. In fact, it's been like that for quite a while that they took the gun off of um, uh, Soldier Fortune because, after all, Feld removed the guns. And I'm not sure if anything's changed yet about the Mohawk on Mohawk Warrior, but it is supposed to be a different concept design. And one thing you'll want to notice about the Stars and Stripes collection here is that, well... This is the only series of these um, uh, Monster Jam Hot Wheels trucks that have the um, uh, stunt ramps. Unlike these that I have over here I've been keeping for a long time. These are supposed to be the normal series with the recrushable cars. And I have to confess, I've had these boxed up from when I went shopping at Walmart last week and everything. As you can see, the trucks I got are Gravedigger, Chroma Frost Zombie Hunter, Carolina Crusher... I heard this is supposed to be a fixed graphic version of El Toro Loco, according to Monster Jam OCD. Because no one was really sure what color um, uh, El Toro Loco really was between red or orange. I believe the color is supposed to be red-orange. But other than that, I hope you really enjoy it because these things are about to come out of the box and everything. So this is my one last pan around of them in the box, so let's get ready because I'm going to do a short review on them once they're out of the right, box. And here they are, now out of the box, the Stars and Stripes collection. And I gotta say, these are really neat stunt ramps that they come with. They are definitely our nation's colors of red, white, and blue. So it's all here an example. Gravedigger got the blue ramp with the um, uh, crushable car. Max D got this white ramp, and then both El Toro Loco and Soldier Fortune kind of got like the stunt ramp, and Mohawk Warrior got the crushable car again. And I think I noticed something different about the crushable car um, uh, stunt ramp is that you can see right here on the crushable car, it's got the um, um, Monster Jam logo. Wow, that's something I didn't see on the other um, uh, um, uh, stunt ramps when they did that accessory back in 2016. If you're able to look really closely on the Gravedigger I'm holding here, this is without a doubt the new tool Gravedigger that you are looking at. Definitely off the new tool. Kind of hard to balance it here on the ramp. I like putting them on the ramp for the presentation. So yeah, definitely with Max D, they use the uh, thin design with um, uh, no spikes. Red horns on El Toro Loco. No gun on Soldier Fortune. A normal but new design on Mohawk Warriors Mohawk. But other than that, I like the design. How the stars are up front. Are, excuse me, up front. And then the stripes are going like that. Definitely looks like the correct way it should be doing. On how you wave the American flag. Where it should be stars first. And then stripes following. I will tell you, those are very, very beautiful looking. Can't wait to debut them in my next sign-up series. Now we're going to take a closer look at, it, the, at these trucks out of the box right here. And to add to the finesse, here are the rest of the trucks out of the box. We got the Gravedigger, El Toro Loco, Carolina Crusher, and Chroma Frost Zombie Hunter. I'm surprised that they're still making Zombie Hunter. I mean, Zombie Hunter has been out of the Feld competition for quite a long time, but 
I will say it looks very nice here on the um, uh, Chroma Frost design after Crustacean and Dragon. Speaking of which, I hope to get the Chroma Frost Dragon very soon. Too bad there's no wax like they were supposed to put. I have been noticing that. You can see Carolina Crusher sure has a really unique different design unlike the um, uh, 2015 release of Carolina Crusher. I'm very glad we got this back in stock even though this is no longer in the competition after Gary Porter the driver retired. I will definitely miss seeing Gary Porter in competition with this truck. And I will tell you Carolina Crusher here has been a pretty huge hit. This is a really good um, uh, this is a really good body design they could use if they were to redesign Gunslinger as Slinger because this is what his body really looks like. But I guess the design will do on Carolina Crusher as well. After all, it's made off the old Captain America body. And I believe so. This is supposed to be the more correct version of El Toro Loco. And then this is Gravedigger. One thing you'll notice different compared between last year's series and this year's series is that you'll notice his graphics are actually a tad bit darker than the um, uh, previous releases. You'll have to check it out if I um, uh, put the two of them together, but the only the only trucks I want getting the spotlight are all these new trucks between the Stars and Stripes collection and the um, uh, four trucks I got last week at Walmart. I was really going to think about how I was going to do this review, but I know a lot of you um, uh, people can do a little better than me. Because the truth is, I'm more of a laid-back person, and I don't really care about how well they do with the detail, if it's bad graphics or good graphics. I just like it the way it is, either way. I know there are some of you out there who do care about the detail, and some who don't, such as myself. I'm just being myself. What else can I say? Anyway, I like these trucks very, very much. Mattel did a very, very good job. Can't wait to get more of them throughout the rest of this year. So, there you have it. My haul. Between eBay, where I got the Stars and Stripes collection, and Walmart, where I got those other trucks. So, there you guys have it. I hope you like it very much. Till next time, this is Cameron or Pinchy08 signing and pinching off. And as Race Groove would say, have fun with your trucks.